I had wrote a poem for the newsletter this month, and I decided I would read it tonight. <coughs> it's about the prodigal son. There once was a man, so nice and so kind, to leave his kids money as soon as he died. One day the youngest child, the baby, thought that he should get his money before his dad turned 80. I'm ready to move out, hit the road, the young man said. I will make sure I have water and food, such as bread. Be careful out there, said the father, handing him the money. Take care of yourself, or else you'll feel crummy. So the boy took off with his hat in his bag, but soon he would be left with nothing but rags. The boy went out and enjoyed lots of parties, but soon he would not be feeling so smarty. The parties came and went, and before he knew, he spent all his money, oh boo hoo. Then he had an idea, yes it would be great, he would feed all the pigs on a farm of eight. Get a drink of water. That's all right. Soon he resorted to eating pig chow, then he would start helping the cows. He had a new plan, oh this one wasn't that bad. He would go home and be a worker for his brother and dad. He knew what he had done was not right. He thought his father would, wouldn't love him and there would be a big fight. But halfway there, oh what could he see? His father was running past every tree. My son, the father said, you were lost and now found. Right now I am the happiest father in town. Amen. That night they all laughed and had so much fun because the father had found his lost son. His brother was mad. Oh why would he be? Then he said, why didn't you throw a party for me? We celebrate, the father replied, because your brother was dead and now is alive. Alive. Amen. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. The father had found his son. Yeah. He was lost and was found. Amen. Right. We were lost and yes. now we're found. Right. Amen. God loved us enough to where he sent his son. Oh, hold on. Romans 5 and 8 says, let me find it here. Romans 5 and 8 says, But God commendeth his, um, yeah, his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. For us. Amen. Amen. He loved us enough, while we yeah. were sinners, he sent his son to save us. Right. Yeah. He, that's how much he loved ah, that's how much he loved us. John 3.16 says, <clears throat> For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He loved us enough to while we were sinning, we were at the bottom of our life. We were at the bottom of everything. He sent his Son to save us. Like the, he would accept us. Like the Father would accept his Son after his Son had went out, spent all the money. Yeah. Yes. And everything. Come on. Some of the church won't accept you. Come on. But God will accept you. Amen. Right. True. That's all I have for tonight. Give the Lord a hand clap. Amen. Amen. Amen.